Uh, Kia and Logan, uh, you're both members of the lab and congratulations, you won season two of World of Dance. Um, well, you know, first of all, what were your thoughts those after your last routine of the night, you were the last performance uh, of the night, um, you know, waiting to get those scores and then, and then, you know, those numbers came in and you found out you won. Well, Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay. Well, so much things were running through all of our minds, like <laughs> the scores, and it was kind of like we were doing performances, but it was our like last time performing on that stage together. Mm. So it was like really sad for us. On um, those happy thoughts, there was just a lot yeah. going on in our head. Um, we tried not to think about the outcome and the result, but because we already knew, like we put in all the work, we drilled as much as we could. We literally did everything um that we could so um we didn't really focus on like getting the score or even winning the show we were just focused on delivering our best and being in the moment and we knew that by doing that that would give our best performance and uh you know e even though you know you're trying not to think too much about the scores and the outcome like you knew what score you would put up in that first round um so as those scores were coming in are you doing like quick math in your head trying to figure out wait is that enough is our average high enough uh you know uh, before it was officially announced? Um, oh, well, personally, I was, like, so excited. <laughs> I, I wasn't even math, but I know there were some people who, like, would work the math out. I don't know how they would do that in that moment, but I was, like, way too excited to work out the math. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I couldn't even know what two plus two was. <laughs> I couldn't do um, and, and the show uh, is uh, pre-taped. Uh, so how long, you know, were you, you know, having to keep this secret before the episode actually aired uh, uh, last night on, on September 12th? Um, we had to keep it in for months. And that's actually a really hard thing for me because you know that I'm yeah. pretty <laughs> bad at keeping secrets. So I tried my best to not tell anybody. It was March, right? March? It was March. Yeah. So we finished filming in March and now it's already September. So we had to keep it a secret that whole time. So yeah, it was. It felt like it was happened so long ago. I know. <laughs> and that and that final uh, performance that that you gave that that clinched the win uh, to uh, waiting on the world to change. Uh, you know, as the judges said, uh, you know that was uh, a change of pace in terms of the music that you chose and the style that that you danced to. What was the decision like to 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 kind of take that chance and and do a different kind of performance for that last one? And and how long did that take to to really develop that final routine? Oh man. Um, well, we basically had what like three days to do because like song clearance and all that stuff so um <laughs> we had like three days to make the piece but we specifically wanted that song every decision we made was based on um our purpose and intention going and going in so we didn't want to make only a winning piece but we wanted to make a set and a piece that would change lives basically because we knew that was going to be our last time performing on that stage many people uh many viewers are watching the show so we were conscious of that and we wanted to make things that people could resonate with and that could kind of change their perspective on life and really genuinely make the world a better place yeah we definitely wanted to make our last time on stage like worth it and give it all yeah yeah, and and you know a lot of your performances were were so complex. The entire group, you have these, uh, you know, in you know, pr all this prop work. You know, you have the entire classroom set during the divisional final, and and what is it like to to work with all of that? You know, all that stuff on the stage and all of that stuff in addition to the dances to to really create a full. Uh, performance piece almost like a, a little play on stage every, every yeah. there was a lot of workshopping and experimenting with all the props um, we had to figure out because we do tricks too so we had to figure out what tricks would work with the props and we had to figure out what we could do with the props that would help our story so there was a lot of like math and thinking going into each piece um, yeah and it was difficult because the thing about props is like if you're doing a trick with like another person, you could at least rely on them because they have like a soul and they have a brain so they can <laughs> make the decision to not fall. But when you're working with a prop, like the prop, like you can't rely on the prop to do it. So if you mess, if the prop falls, like it's, it's your fault. So. And it's also like kind of like risky and dangerous. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, it is really dangerous. Like the desks. Yeah. What, what was it? Trey did like a flip. He was doing like a push flip, um, the one he did in week four. Um, and we tried it where he would jump from one desk to the other doing a back tuck. Um, and he fell, 
and then got up like a champ. But like <laughs> he fell and it looked like he got hurt, and that was that was scary. And and well, yeah. Out of the six routines you did, from you know the qualifiers to you know all the way to the world finals, um, was there one that was your your favorite in particular? Uh, was it was it that last one, or were there others that that really stood out to you? I feel like mine was like the fourth round. I just, uh, I mean, I love I love all of the sets, but like the fourth round was like my number one favorite. Yeah, my personal favorite ha has to be our last one, the waiting on the world to change, just because uh, I feel like the impact that it can have on dance and I think humans too, um, and kids. Um, I feel like it's a great impact, um, and it meant a lot to all of us. And and you know this was the actually the second time the the lab competed on World of Dance. Uh, it also competed in season one. Um, uh, didn't of course make it as far as the uh, the world final uh, last year. How did things change? How did, th did things feel different going into into season uh, season two? Because like every almost every performance got successively higher and higher scores uh, as the season went on. Yeah. So um, with season one. Um, we got cut in the third round, but we knew what we were going into for season two. So um, we started off strong, but not too strong, so that each week we could build um, and make each week better than the last, whether that was adding tricks, adding a story, adding a concept or intention behind it. Um, we just tried to um, escalate each of our performances um, so that our last was just the best that we've ever done on the stage. And, and uh, you, you that that fourth uh, performance, of course, that was sort of the pinnacle, the that classroom uh, uh, set, and you know, perfect hundreds from Neo and Jennifer Lopez and Derek Huff for that one. <laughs> what was it like to get those kinds of numbers, and how is it like to get those scores and then have to follow that up in in the world final? Oh man, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> so when we got those numbers. Um, I knew that we definitely had to like step it up because like we had like good scores, but like we like have to like get better scores than that, if that makes any sense. Like we have to make that better. Yeah. And so basically we were like we already knew like we had to have that mindset to like make it better than the next round. Like Logan yeah. said, we did that for like every round, but it was a lot more tricky. Yeah. Like it was like a hundred from all three judges and then for the um, fourth round, which was Misty? Misty. No, no, no. Fourth? Yeah, the fourth judge. Oh, fourth. Oh, yeah, judge. Sorry. Mike. Yeah. So well, she got a 99, so it was almost close to 100. Yeah. So we knew that we had to make it better. Yeah, and for uh, week four, uh, going into the finals, we kind of not only had to top um, that round, but we had to kind of go in with a different intention and add like a story behind it. Because if we went in, I, I think we definitely went hard for the um, the Missy uh, Missy Elliott set, but for the other set, we we couldn't do the same thing. We had to do something different so that it wouldn't look the same. Um, but yeah, that definitely helped us. And, and how, how long does it take uh, to to you know from the very beginning, you know, the first idea or getting the song to that final performance? How long does it take to create uh, one of those performances for World of Dance? Oh man! So we had a lot of time for our first and second set. Um, what we spent like probably like two months, two months on the first two sets. Just we wanted to just be prepared. Um, and man, when we got to like third, fourth, fifth, sixth um, sets, we had to really, it was like crunch time. We had like, at most like what, five days. Yeah, at most we had like five days to create, um, drill, clean, um, workshop, all of our rounds just in five days to whereas before we do it in two months. <laughs> And, uh, and and what inspired you both to to get into dancing? I mean, you're both, of course, so young. You were in the junior division, and 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 but you're both so accomplished, and the whole team was so accomplished. Uh, what what first uh, inspired you to dance? So I've always had an inspiration of dance. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about it that just really inspires me, and it is also really fun. So I moved to LA when I was about seven years old to mostly pursue my acting dreams, but I was still in love with dancing. So once I found out about the lab, I started doing you know, classes with them, and then it came from classes to performances to competitions to the competition world of dance, which was crazy. And then ever since then, I just, 
I still do acting, but I've been really focused on dance, and it just, it gets, like, it gets, it just gets funner, like, each time I do it. Yeah. Um, personally, I was inspired, well, my first style of dance, I would say, is breaking or break dancing, and the reason why I wanted to start is because I saw another girl doing it, and you don't really see girls doing breaking, so that really, that really inspired me to start doing it, um, and so for us, that's basically what we want to do, um, being on the show, but also just as people and as humans and as dancers, as kids, uh, we want to inspire other people to dance or just do what they love. And, uh, you know, now that, uh, you know, the, the season finale is aired, you know, everyone knows that the lab is won and, and, you know, what, what comes next for, for both of you or, or for, for the, the team uh, as a whole? So we're training, we're making sure we're prepared because it seems like the opportunities are coming really fast, especially after yesterday. Um, uh, yeah, we just want to be really prepared for the opportunities. We're super grateful. And again, keeping that same intention of inspiring um, the next kids. Um, and more, more importantly, um, we want to give back to the kids, just like our supporters, our whole creative team. Um, we have a lot of um, people on our creative team and each of them put in like, 200% of their effort and their love and their time just to make our dreams come true. So we can't help but do the same for other kids who want to follow their dreams. And especially with this platform that we have and this prize that we have, um, we just want to use it for good. Um, probably scholarships for other kids. Um, yeah, we just want to give back. Uh, well, I want to uh, congratulate you again for uh, winning uh, World of Dance Season 2, and uh, best of luck on, on everything to come. Of course, you know, you both have yeah. long careers ahead of you. I, I'm absolutely sure of it. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You.